I'm gonna take a tour around the city, but the city for me, I appreciate more of the places when I see the nature part. So my tour of the city is gonna be the opposite. It's gonna be actually going to what Miami is mostly known about, meaning um, part of the boat rides and the Everglades with the alligators and all the Florida animals that we have. It's time, we're going to the Everglades right now with Hummer Tours of Miami and um, going for a little boat ride, so let's go. So this is actually um, one of the things that you get to do here also, the airport ride. So we have one all for moi, all for myself, and uh, there's a guy there right there. He's from Alabama. <laughs> All right, so hat's coming off because obviously when we pick up speed, it's going to be um, fast. And if this goes through there, it's no, no longer hat. I'm happy. This is a great experience, and I've actually never done it before. So I think that this is awesome for a first time. That bird you see up there is a greenback heron. So you know how they have like a great white shark? Here in the Everglades they have the great white heron and um, we're actually getting really close to him so I'm going to show you him right now. That's actually the second biggest bird out here. That's our largest bird. Its wingspan's about six foot. The great blue heron. An alligator has to lay up on the sure like that to digest their food. An alligator is more scared of you than it is of you. It'll run from you. They have the ability to have babies He's crazy. if it's a bull. I know most of them, but you should see the butterflies. There's 500 of those and I know about 10. How many animals do we have in there? 48, 50 of one type of bird. That's He's not doing a great job. They say that we bird's the luckiest one. The Everglades. If you were to put a sandwich out on top of that cooler, they would snatch it and your tuna fish would be on the ground and you would be hungry late this afternoon. Luckiest bird in the Everglades because there's seven females for one uh, male, so pretty lucky, I think. Be careful, the mom's around. Yeah, she's around. You'll see him get back on that boat real quick. <laughs> They're all running away from him. And he's barefoot. Look at the mango. The boat's 18.6, and the largest alligator is 19. 19? 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, to me, it smells like eucalyptus. Oh, it's not, yeah, you you're can right. smell it just by pulling it out of the water. So that's actually funny. It's, he's saying that like the Indians, when they used to live here, you know, they discovered so many herbs and stuff that they started selling them in Tamiami Park. And then after that, when they sold them, um, they realized, oh, they can do bingo and casino. So now they're millionaires. It was actually a lot better than any other tour because um, it's exclusive, you know, it's only like one, two, three or four people, up to four people only. So for me, I was alone, so it was pretty cool. And um, I think I, you could enjoy it probably a lot more than being in just like a group, you know, um, boat ride. So awesome. Mm -hmm.